Well, this week we're gonna talk about bold expectations. Have you put a few of those bold expectations through to God? The Bible gives us in Hebrews chapter 11, verse six, this amazing verse. This is a kind of a pinnacle verse in the Bible. A lot of people talk about this verse. Those that come to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Bold expectations, what we're referring to, isn't bold expectations of others, but bold expectations of God. I have expectations of God, bold and good. What I mean by bold is extravagant and good. That verse, we're gonna look at this verse just for a second. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. That's how he works. So today, frame in your mind a bold expectation because that's how it's often going to be given to you. Don't shy away, but you serve a God who you must approach him, it says, believing that he is and that he's a reward of those that diligently seek him. He'll work hard on your behalf. He cuts through the red tape, the things that are going on, and he's looking for you to have this with him. Sometimes it's a fight with yourself to believe this way, to have this with him. But it's true. That's exactly what that verse says. We're going to look at more verses that look this way. I want to have a bold expectation of what God's going to do. Bold enough that I it affects the tone of my voice. And that's what God's looking for. He wants you. As a matter of fact, it says, don't, those that don't do this, don't want to, like, you don't expect much. You've got to believe he's a good God. He has something good for you. And do it today. You don't want to wait. Get to God today with that expectation, that goodness, expecting something good that he has for you because he does. And when you pray, you've got to set your mind this way. You have to think this way. So I want to look at this just for a second. What does this mean? It means up here, I don't think things through and say, well, can he really do that? It means I think this way. And he looks to you to do this. He's like, you you must approach him with a bold expectation of good for your good. Can anyone say amen? God's got something for you. Get in the groove. Think this way. Let God operate in a wonderful way for you today. In Jesus' name, amen.